I'm here today to do some stand-up uh, as part of the ICC digital program uh, for later broadcast. I've discovered that when I'm, well, I've discovered when I'm doing stuff like this, I get ideas and I write them down and I start working on them. And the more time I give myself, the easier it is because I think I've done it one day and then when I get up the next day I decide to change it and add things and take things out. So it's good to have the time to do it. Um, so I've probably been working on it for a couple of weeks. It's one of the things that's on my bucket list, all the things I never had time to do when I was busy working because I've been working full time since I was about 17. So stand up was something that I always wanted to try and a couple of years ago I did a stand up course and I had only done a couple of gigs when Covid set in. So I've been, my mother used to refer to it as acting the goat. I've been acting the goat my whole life, just, I amuse myself, I hopefully amuse other people, but that's how I kind of get through difficult times in my life, is just trying to see the funny side of things. Um, so I thought I would just give it a go uh, while I'm still here, and uh, so that was it, yeah, so I've been doing some work for the ICC Digital, I've been doing some videos at home in lockdown, and sending them through for upload, as have lots of other people doing various kinds of music and readings and all sorts of stuff. Um, and it's just something I really enjoy doing, it's great fun. So now that we can expand these social bubbles, um, my problem however is that my uh, bubble chums all live far and wide, there's nobody locally. Um, so I'm going to have to see if I can pull a few strings and maybe get uh, Dominic Cummings to drop me at Specsavers in Glasgow, you know, next time he's going that way, which will probably be any day now. I, I have spent the last four months in solitary confinement, basically because my friends and family all live quite far away. Um, so it has been a lifeline for me doing this, like finding the humour in being locked in with no contact with people apart from staff in Tesco, where I go and do my weekly shop, but I have had no contact with friends or family. Um, so this has been a creative project to get, get me through the weeks, basically, and it's been four months of, or more. Hello, Wembley! <laughs> well, not quite. One day. I'm actually in the beautiful theatre of the Irish Cultural Centre, Hammersmith. But we're still in lockdown here, so I'm afraid there's no audience. There's a film crew, but they're all so far back for social distancing, they're about this size. And it's quite dark in here, which makes me feel a bit like I'm performing to a couple of mice in a coal cellar. But anyway, hopefully things will return to normal quite soon, as soon as, as, soon as Boris says we can. Anyway, it's not too bad there not being an audience, really, because it means I don't have to deal with all the hecklers. I mean, sometimes that can degenerate really quickly. A lot of swearing can get violent, a lot of punches being thrown, and the hecklers are just as bad. <laughs> anyway, one day soon, I shall actually get to Wembley, and I have been practicing. Look. <laughs> I have been training with the menopausal academics since oh, quite a few months actually and the coach said he would give me a tryout with the team but of course uh, the virus and COVID and lockdown has put that into delay but I will get there one day. I wasn't actually allowed to play football as a child at school because um, apparently the Virgin Mary and all the saints would have got their knickers in an uproar if they'd seen me and girls running up the pitch. <laughs> so we weren't allowed to play. It's changed now, of course. Um, and women are doing really well in football, in leagues, women and girls. Uh, although when women first started being taken seriously and playing, the pundits would refer to them as ladies' teams. <laughs> Ladies teams. And I was at home shouting at the TV, they're not ladies, they're women. Ladies don't play football. You don't hear them running about shouting, Oh, definitely do pass the ball over here. Oh, it's good girl. Hurrah, sweet. Talk about patronising. I mean, can you imagine on a Saturday with the sports results, if they said, oh, you know, Hammersmith ladies 
are playing away today and the gentlemen are playing at home. I mean, there'd have been an absolute uproar. But thankfully it has changed and girls can now play football at school and the women's leagues are doing really well. And, you know, it might just be me, but as far as I'm concerned, if women and girls had been allowed to play far earlier, Scotland's performances in the World Cup trial qualifiers might have been a different story. <laughs> but that's just me.